Boris Nemtsov was murdered in central Moscow in, on February in 2015. Are you satisfied with the results of the investigation into his death? I'm not satisfied with the uh, investigation process uh, because uh, we don't know uh, a few important things. So, first of all, the motive of the murder. We know only the motive of uh, uh, perpetrators, those who are on trial right now. Uh, they, uh, I don't know where, whether they, what, what the jury will decide, but uh, allegedly uh, they committed this crime uh, for money, but uh, we don't know the overall motive of who paid them. We don't know who paid them, and we don't know the overall motive of, uh, uh, of, of this uh, assassination. I think uh, that it uh, was a political assassination, uh, but uh, the Russian state does not want to acknowledge it, and I understand why, uh, because if, uh, if the state acknowledges that it was a political murder, then uh, they acknowledge that uh, regimes, opponents are prosecuted and even killed in Russia. So they won't do it on the official level. The second thing is uh, that though the investigative team uh, believes that they were organizers and those who masterminded the crime, they uh, failed to find the organizers and those who ordered it. Uh, and I think that they did it on purpose. They don't show any resolution to find these people. You said... Uh, so the case uh, has not been fully solved so far. Repeatedly said that uh, Putin's information ma machine is uh, actually to blame for it, for, for your father's murder. Uh, at least partly, uh, because uh, uh, it's... Uh, it's a weapon of mass destruction and uh, those people who are targeted by the propaganda in Russia, uh, they couldn't feel themselves uh, secure. Uh, and uh, in numerous occasions when somebody becomes a target of the Russian propaganda, it would lead to some legal consequences for them, meaning to prosecution. First of all, they uh, uh, spoil your reputation uh, and afterwards you can become a target of criminal prosecution, of any state-inspired uh, prosecution. And of course, my father uh, was a target of, of, of the Russian propaganda for a number of years. but. Uh, that created a negative image of my father. Uh, but actually what I want to admit uh, is that thousands of Russians uh, love my father, remember my father, and three years uh, on, the, uh, on the 27th of February, uh, thousands of people took to the streets across Russia. That means that uh, he's a uh, hero at least uh, among uh, some people, some Russians, not all of them, of course. Tell me, do you think Russian propaganda is dangerous even abroad, abroad Russia? Mm, I think that the real influence of the Russian propaganda abroad is a bit exaggerated. <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, uh, it exists, and we all know about Russia today and Sputnik, uh, but I won't say that it has an enormous impact on the domestic politics of European countries or the U.S., but still, yes, uh, Russia today is, uh, uh, has uh, large audiences across Europe and probably in the United States. And tell me, how do you think one could counter propaganda, Russian propaganda in particular? Uh, first of all, uh, you mean outside or inside? Both. Nobody knows. Uh, first of all, I think it's, uh, if, you, if you talk about 
uh, inside uh, propaganda, propaganda aimed at uh, Russians inside our country, uh, you cannot counter it uh, effectively because you cannot uh, counter uh, TV propaganda with internet websites. It's impossible. We have uh, uh, some independent, uh, quite influential websites and the internet is still more or less free in Russia, uh, but you cannot uh, fight with, uh, with, with powerful TV stations with large audiences. Russia is a country where television is the main source of information for most Russians. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's almost impossible. Outside, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's possible, but I think that it's a, a bad, I don't like this notion that you have to uh, fight propaganda or to counter propaganda or to challenge propaganda using propaganda. I think that uh, you have to tell the truth, you have to do it in an attractive way, and uh, here you have freedom, you have different channels, and uh, it's up to people to decide uh, what side they take. And uh, of course, it's probably very important to be persuasive, to be competitive on the market. So here it's much easier than inside Russia, where you cannot do anything.